Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today to show you what I figured out to do with my um, journal cover for the journal that I'm working on for Cindy. I took one of these boxes, and if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I, you know, do this quite often. I cut off all these extra flaps, and then this has a one and three quarter inch back part of the box, and that makes a great spine. So I just peel off this bright orange stuff and underneath it's kind of a gray, you know, colored box. And then I took it and I used some napkin backing. So I was like, I wish I had tissue paper. I couldn't figure out anything thin enough. I didn't want to use deli paper because I didn't want the color of it. So um, the backs of the napkins when you tear them off to uh, decoupage with. Just keep these because I'm, I'm sure a lot of you already keep them so this is a great way to use them. So then I just mixed up some um, glue and paint and I did the same technique basically that I used when I did the um, craft colored wrapping paper stuff like the painter's paper where you just kind of you know put the glue and stuff down and then you don't make it go all flat is what I'm saying. You want that that crinkly look. And I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it really well. And so I used a little bit of mica powder. I used these two. I used flamingo pink and gold glow. And uh, put that in with the paint. You can't really see that a whole lot. So that's probably not necessarily necessary. You could just use paint paint of whatever colors. And so it's kind of pink, white, you know, splotchy looking all over. And then I did ink it just a tiny bit around the edges. And I really like the way it came out. It's nice and sturdy and um, good. Because what I wanted was something to cover this. I mean, a lot of this is going to end up covered, so that's kind of a bummer. But um, I knew it wouldn't get covered from edge to edge completely with the fabric that I was going to use. Well, lace. It's not fabric, really. But... So I made, I put the cover like this, and then I just kind of pieced together uh, different pieces of lace and stitched it and would do more and stitch it, it kind of like I do. That's why I don't do this on camera because it's just, it's really hard to do on camera because it's a lot of taking stuff on and putting stuff on, you know, back and forth. And so, um... But this is what I came out with, and it does take a while. I mean, it, it pretty much took me the entire day yesterday just to do, you know, this part and this part. So it, this is all stitched together. So once I get my signatures sewn in, I will put this on here, and I will put some sorry silk like this first. Then I'll put this on, and then it'll have its ties. So that is what I did there. So I'm just waiting until I get my signatures completed. I mean, they're, they're pretty much there, but um, before I stitch them in. So this is all ready to go. And I just took one larger, like you can see on the back of this, I took one larger piece of lace and added, you know, all the other ones kind of like applique on and just stitched as I went and as I wanted stuff added, I just added more. So that's that, and that's ready. And then on the inside, I put um, Medieval Mirage. That's her new, um, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> ah, anyways, I'll, I'll list it in the description box below. It's just escaping me for some reason. I've mentioned it in um, videos before that it's the same, that same new digi of hers. So, and then just a little bit of avocado dyed cheesecloth here across the spine because I like it when it hangs out the top. It just kind of gives it that old feel. So that's what I did there. And then I thought we could, I need this still, uh, make some pockets to go on here. And I think I want to do uh, kind of like lace and everything, sort of like I did with the cover except I'm going to be putting the lace onto old book page. Uh, so whatever, you know, if you can see through the lace or whatever, that's fine. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what size we need here. And it's the inside part is like about five and a half. And I think I want the pocket. I know you can't see it at the moment, but like three maybe. So 
five and a half by three roughly. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and a half. I'm going to go to six because I'm going to tear off the other side as well. And this is two of these book pages glued together. So I'm just using my um, Arteza board here. And thank you guys for all your kind words about my <laughs> crazy painting the other day. It was fun. I, had, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> but it was, I know some people said I almost left because it was such a mess. But it was. It was just, <laughs> but I really like the way those turned out. I think they were super fun. Oh my goodness, and I hope you're all safe. That storm, that hurricane, ay ay ay. I am so sorry for all of you that have to deal with those every year. So that one's good. Do the same thing for the front. Yeah, it's uh, super scary. I don't know. Tornadoes and hurricanes. And it's, they're saying now that there's going to be tornadoes too in that area. I guess the storms must obviously cause all that. Which is scary. So stay safe and listen to what they tell you, I guess is all you can do, right? Sorry, I'm just trying to think here. But yeah. How did I end up with that one so much bigger? I thought I did three. Maybe I just did three, not three and a half. That's what I must have done. That was a little bit better size. Okay. So um, you might see some of the book page. You might not, but it's fine either way. I. Um, won't mind if it shows a little bit. This just gives us something to put the lace onto instead of trying to, I mean you could just do it the same way that I did the cover, like take a larger piece of fabric or lace and then stitch all the pieces on. This is just another version basically. Just gonna take all different lace bits. I've got lots of bits in here that I like to use and other things. I don't even know why I kept that. Some of them it's like crazy. It's like why did I why did I keep that? Like these. And not that. I might be able to use a little bit of this. A lot of these are like um, off of old tapestry or you know like linens uh, this I think came off of a shirt so definitely think about that when you go to like thrift stores I, I look for lace a lot at thrift stores because it's much cheaper that way than it is um, you know buying it piece by piece or buying it at the store that's from Hobby Lobby But yeah, that makes really an expensive way to buy lace. I just have my big old bag of junk here. Bag o junk. Lots of bits. And I want to use some of the lace like I used on the cover. Cloth, and I believe this is from Robin so thank you Robin because I use this like crazy and if you ever run into another one of these um, I will purchase it from you if you find one because these are hard to find they're like the cotton 
um, embroidered, I just want this flower right here, lace. And um, yeah, so the, these are great for covers and I've used this on so many things. I really want a couple of the flowers. Not the great big ones though. Just trying to find what's in this area. Oh, this is kind of a cool little swirly here. But yeah, I've I don't even know how many covers I've done using this. It's been awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I think it was Robin. It starts to get confusing, like I said, especially with the linens because I just keep them all together in a plastic bin. So um, some things I can remember easier than others who sent what, but the fabric is probably the hardest for me. But if I am mistaken, just let me know and I will thank whoever sent it. you guys are all well healthy we've not had I mean I don't know the kids are back in school so it's going to be interesting to see if we get any like um, outbreaks of COVID it's really interesting because the school the high school for my son you know they have to wear masks all the time and they have to stay six feet apart and all that but our cafeteria is not very big it's not even really big enough for the amount of kids we have I mean granted they've cut uh, class sizes in half but because um, some kids go to, you know on Tuesday Thursday and other kids go Wednesday Friday that kind of thing um, but they have them sitting at the in the cafeteria shoulder to shoulder and they don't have to wear their masks because they're eating. <laughs> so I'm just a little bit concerned about how that's going to work out. Um, I guess they don't have anybody sitting across from them, but uh, yeah, it's a little it's a little concerning, I have to say. But I I, mean, I know what do they do? It's that's hard because the schools are just not built for keeping kids apart, you know. And they do like different um, lunch times so there isn't the whole group of them in there at one time but still it's just yeah so it'll be interesting to see whether we end up with an outbreak like I said there were like 18 teachers out of the whole district I mean it's a big school district but it's just it's interesting how they're doing things to say the least but anyway, sorry, I know it's kind of like watching paint dry probably, but I just want to get a couple pieces together here. Maybe one more flower if I can find one. There's one. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. So let me know how they're doing stuff in your guys' school districts if, <clears throat> you know, you even have kids that have gone back. Because I know some places still aren't going back till like January. And I, I'm glad they're back in school. I think it's really important for their mental health. I'm just curious to see how it's going to turn out. All right. So I have this piece, too, that is um, the piece, like, the one I used on the front cover to hook everything else, too. So I think I'm just going to take a piece of this. And this is a little different than um, using either paper or fabric to do this because you can't tear it so you're not going to have like the frayed edges and things see I wanted to use book page because that way where you can see through it's it looks kind of cool so I'm just going to put a little glue in here and I'll be stitching this but I'm just tacking it down right now basically so that we can put other pieces on These are just fun to do. I'm 
change that color one. And I overlap them a little bit. Like I might go ahead and cut this just so it's got kind of a more interesting edge here. Oh, I think it goes that way. <laughs> so we cut the right side. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I hope a bunch of kids don't get sick. That would be no good. I've known a couple of people who've had it, and fortunately, they're fine. They, you know, had a cough and just didn't feel well, that kind of thing. But luckily, so far, it's been. Not too bad. I'm going to use a little bit of this. That one does kind of have at least a torn edge up at the top. See, so I'm just overlapping and putting them however. Yes. Okay. We need some, some other something. We have this. This is a tank top from the thrift store. And I'm going to leave that little bit of the tool hanging up off the top. I may end up having to trim that depending on where it goes. I want a piece of this. Some places it's really easy to tell the front, and others it's not. And for this, I think I'm going to just tack it down with a little bit of uh, art glitter glue, just to hold it in place. For now. I need a little pink, I think. A little pink, I think. like the tool part better so I'm going to take a little bit off of this. just want it to meet that right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Might add other things to it, I just don't know yet what I want to do. A little bit of this might work. Is there a front and back? Some of them it's really hard to tell. I don't think it matters. Okay, there's that one. Let's do this one. Yeah, I had fun yesterday though doing that cover. It 
would have just taken a ton of stopping and starting the camera, that's all. That's why I don't film it. Let's get another piece of this. And where did I cut it already? Right there. I need some going the other way there first. I just want to make sure it was recording, sorry, because <laughs> I had, I've had a, a week of crazy problems with recording, so. This one's going to be a lot more, um, kind of transparent, I guess. My son just mowed the lawn, and he's got allergies, so that's why he's coughing his head off, if you're... <laughs> he's okay. <laughs> I'm going to add this. And I'll put stitches so that it's almost like it's uh, quilted or something. They're mostly just, you know, tack it's almost like pinning it, really. I try not to put too much so it's not hard on the sewing machine. I need something right there. Maybe uh, one of those little rooms there. Bless you. I'm just having a heck of a time. He can't hear me. He's got his, <laughs> his earbuds in, probably. He had a first, a good 
first day he just felt like it was really long and I think it's because they haven't been there in like five months. It's the longest, you know, obviously he has not had school, so. This is from my friend Allie. Thank you so much, Allie. I love that piece. Like, I, I don't like using it because <laughs> I want to hoard it. But I decided I would use a little bit. It's just super pretty. It's kind of like all the pink together. That's a little more pink. These are a little more like avocado dye color. Hmm. I don't know what else to put on there. Oh, I can put a piece of this because it's a little closer to that color. I just, the color's not quite right. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Oops. This stuff is hard to get any glue to stick to. the little price tag thing on it. <laughs> oh my goodness, seriously. That's the only thing with those. They get all stuck in that place. Kind of just want this bit. I think that's good. I'll go stitch those and I'll come right back. Okay, so I stitched around those. Let's move. Probably help if I put the lid on my glue. Um, so you can see. Probably see on the back better. But there are stitches all over so that it's all tacked down well. Oh, and I added little um, flaps so that, you know, the pocket wouldn't be so tight. Because I forget to do that a lot. But um, I'm not that worried about the bottom. At least you've got a little room here so that you can put more than like just one little thin card in there. So it'll kind of stick out a little bit like that. But they're all stitched around. And it's hard to tell because I do use that ivory thread. So, But we can put those in here and then we can make a flip. I just need to figure out which one goes where. I think this one's the back. And then this one can go here. With the flowers the way they are. I just like that. So I'll put those down. Yeah, these fabric little things are fun to make for your journal. They just add a lot, I think. Especially if you're doing that kind of shabby look. So I'm just going to try to make sure I get all the way closer over the, the side probably um, than the middle because obviously we don't want it to impede the opening and closing of the journal. So if you get too close to that fold, it can kind of be, oh, did I forget to glue? I did forget to glue the bottom. <laughs> I just got glue in the flaps and not 
anything else. So we'll just run a little skinny bead along here. That is the benefit of our glitter glue, right? And I don't know what I'm going to put in these yet, but we're getting there. This has been very fun, Cindy. Thank you so much for having me make a journal. That's awesome. Cindy lives in Canada, so that's why we're not... Um, hmm, I get no, it needs to go this way because of this. Doing any coffee dye in it. In that, um, this won't be any problem, the cheesecloth, because it just, the glue goes right through it. Alright, so I really like that. I think that looks really nice. Okay. And then we'll do a flip. Got this. I ignore my pages. Sorry, I'm just looking everywhere. Excuse my reach. All right, I don't know where I want to put that yet. Oh, is that upside down? Yes. <laughs> or am I, is the whole thing upside down? What did I do? Maybe it's just that page. page for it. Huh. I really just need to see the size right now. It's kind of wrinkly. I think I'm just going to go on either side of that central part. the pinking shears to do the cut across here. I mean, it doesn't really matter which way this goes, but it kind of does, so. I just want a little bit more all the way around, not a lot more.
I don't do a lot of fabric flips. I don't know why. I think I just forget about them. Well, that and I can't cut a straight line to save my life. That's really crooked. <laughs> See, the problem is you keep cutting and then there's like nothing left. Probably help if I used like a rotary blade or something like that, but no. something, I don't know, interesting across the top. Mm -hmm. I could go with like rosettes. These ones have been coffee dyed. looks pretty, but it still needs like one more bit of something. It's kind of too big. underneath there. I need to cut off this. It's really thick where they stitched the corner, mitered the corner. further. Now it's too big. <laughs> okay, right next to those flowers. stitch it, but I think I'm going to have to iron it before I do that, but I'll just give you guys the idea of, you know, what it's going to look like. Hmm, I don't know if I like it on that page. This one needs to scoop down a little bit, too, because, you, you know, you want it, like, layered so that you can see each lace. I'm thinking it needs a little bit cleaner page. Okay, so it'll be something like that, but I, I need to stitch it first, and I'm going to iron it. So anyways, that will be for the next time you'll get to see that. And then I'm trying to think of what else I need. 
I don't know. I think I'm about good to sew in signatures. Let's see. Because <clears throat> she's pretty fat as it is. So it'll look something like that, and then we'll have our cover. About like so. And then it'll have the tie. Oh, I thought that was a piece that's not as part of the lace. And then it'll have its tie here. So yeah, that is her so far. So probably the next time you see this, I'll do a flip through of it, Cindy and then it will go up in my shop the same day so it's just about there i'm super excited i really love the way the cover came out so i know this was kind of a short one but um i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it was helpful to see the pockets and all that and we will chat again soon thank you so much bye bye now